Let's talk about adding TPM and many other labels on the flow sheet. This is very useful, especially if you are analyzing certain or specific properties. For instance, if you are analyzing a distillation column, maybe you want to analyze the distillate rate versus the bottom rate. Maybe you are wondering the pressure drop of a certain equipment, so you can add pressures. Maybe you're analyzing a heat exchanger and you want to see the effect of temperature. So instead of you running the simulation and each time going to the results, you can simply add the labels right here. Typical data, this is the most common one you will encounter, but it's not limited to this. You can find temperature, pressure, mass flow rate, volumetric flow rate, molar flow rate, and vapor fraction. As well, if you're also interested, you can also include the heat duty and workflows in the unit operations. So maybe you're interested in this. It's very cool because if it says Q equals zero, you know this is adiabatic. And if you have Q something, maybe here it states Q something, this will be the heat duty of the reboiler and the condenser. And not only that, I stated that these are not the only properties you can add you can add your own properties. This is done via the property sets, as we seen in section number two, how to set up a property set. The interesting part right here is that you can add up to six individual properties. So here it goes, temperature, pressure. These, are, these ones are the ones I showed you before. Now these are optional and you can add them regarding on what you want it or not. So this is one example. This is viscosity because I don't know, maybe we are analyzing a heat exchanger and we are interested in the Reynolds number, Prandtl number, and so on, Nozzle number. So we are, we know this is relevant for viscosity. Viscosity is present on this dimensionless number. K value, remember this is the thermal conductivity. Maybe you're also interested in the specific value of the mix. L stands for liquid mix alone. Maybe you are analyzing gases. So one important thing right here, guys, is that unfortunately we need to state one property set for each label right here. So if you wanted to add maybe six labels from this property set, you cannot simply state that. This will only take one simulation, sorry, one label into the simulation. So if you wanted to add these six properties, you will need to state them individually. Not only that, you can also add formatting or the shapes change the shapes in order to avoid confusion. As you can see here, you need to know by heart the color and the sizing or the design of the label in order to sh ensure that you know what's happening. Sometimes something, or these properties are obvious. So for instance, this, I'm pretty sure this is temperature. Point territory is not that, let's say, straightforward. So it's stated here, it's not even present. So what is that? Who knows? This one right here seems to be, um, don't know. These are then the ones we stated here. The first one is viscosity. The second one is conductivity. And it makes sense, guys. Remember that viscosity is one centipede at normal conditions. So 0.33 sounds okay. And K values also remain between one and five. So it makes sense as well. What else do we have here? Maybe even the flow rate, no. We have this value, which is the specific heat capacity of the mix. Actually, it's the same one, green, and this trapezoid. So it's very convenient. And not only that, you can also add this value to the flow sheet. So you don't need to remember by heart what's the color, what's the design. And once again, if you are presenting this to a colleague, may, this might be very useful because sometimes you just want to show the plant design with the very specific data, the temperature, pressures, maybe even add here by yourself the number of stages and so on. So you want to present everything in the process simulation instead of you sending all the tables, data, streams, which is very non-convenient to read. Okay, so let's do a workshop regarding uh, the labels.